The year is 2050, and over the last generation, the kids would only eat chicken nuggets and fries. This led to a huge shortage of potatoes and chickens. Can we capitalize on this high demanding job market, or will we fail at feeding the next generation? Let's find out. Well, hello and welcome back everybody to Feeding the Next Gen Roleplay. This has been so much fun so far. I've been having a lot of fun here. Just got done embezzling a lot of potatoes from another farmer, I guess. Now let's see if I can steal some more potatoes from another, another farmer, I guess. Because there's one more potato field on this map that has not been harvested, but it's also not available on the contract thing. So I got to skip each hour or so checking it out and seeing if it will pop up or not. So let's take a quick look at that. I, I don't know how I feel about this. Uh, field 22 is the one I'm looking out for, and I was looking out for it on the harvesting one. I don't see it on harvesting one, but I see it on a plowing one. Let me head over to that field real quick, see if it's actually already harvested. I guess it is. Well, it appears to be here. There appears to be potatoes down there, I think. This is a normal look to it. At least I think there is. It just says remove foliage. Needs plowing though, so maybe that's why that plowing one's popping up. I'm not gonna plow this. So let me try to see if I can get rid of that needs plowing one or that plowing job for field 22 and see if a harvest job can pop up. Nope, looks like a needs plowing one pops up again. We'll go ahead and clear the contracts here. New contracts. Okay, hadn't pop Oh, no, 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 no. What did I just do? My bad can i cancel that yeah canceled okay thanks my bad new contract series it's x okay look out for field 22 come on give me a good one make it a harvest one nope field 22 plowing i think it's just gonna pop up as plowing every single time is it not ready to harvest i mean it appears plowing again it appears ready to harvest to me let me take another look at another map here because i think i might do something a little crazy a little crazy now how do i see the growth stages here remove foliage that means it's ready to harvest, right? Huh. Can I just, like, come over here and steal this? Like, steal it, steal it? It's crossed my mind. I mean, I'm definitely going to give it a try. But this costs $901,000. Wow. I do not have that much money and don't think I could get that much money. Oh, man. This is going to be a sad day. But first, I'm going to try to just, like, steal the product. Maybe. Maybe that will work. I, I don't think it will. I highly doubt it will. And sure enough, it didn't work. I, I didn't think it would. I do have some mods that allow me to do stuff on other people's lands but I guess one of the things I can't do is harvest their crops, which would make sense. But hey, we need to get a mod out there where you can just steal anybody's crop. That'd be pretty cool. Let me try something else before I give up on it. Hey, here we go. Finally got it right here. $271,000 for this. Ooh, that is crazy. I knew it'd be pretty crazy too because it is a very large field, but we will actually go ahead and accept this contract, not leasing their equipment. I don't want that stuff. That would be ridiculously long. But yeah, we'll go ahead and accept that and we're going to get started on it. Not sure how I feel about this field. I know I'm going to regret it, but I also know I'm going to really, really profit off of it. Let's take a quick look at the map. Try to set up a game plan here. That's kind of what I do with this. Try to set up a game plan. Uh, it looks like this might be open right here. This gap is, and I'll figure that out after I do a couple of headlands, but it's kind of looking like I'm going to try to work in this direction right here. I always try to find the longest spot to do my up-downs. That's probably best because if you can find the longest spot to do your up-downs, that's less turnarounds you got to do. Now this little weird spot over here, I'll probably just knock out by itself and then just kind of continue the up-downs this direction right here. That's what it's looking like, but I won't know until I actually hit the field and do it. And yes, it does look like this part right here has nothing in it which is great. I was kind of worried there might be like a tree or two probably poking through. I've seen a few like that on this map and I've ran into a few like that on this map. What I mean is running into is, I mean, I ran into the trees that was on there and I would get caught up on it. Now the arms that stick out to the left and right of this thing does not have collisions on it. So I'm not too worried about that, but I've just straight up ran into them with other things. <laughs> and I don't always play with this unrealistic stuff here, but man, this field is huge and I'm kind of wishing I had 10 of these or just one with a lap lot bigger header than this one and there probably is something out there i just don't know where it's at or i just haven't really looked for it i'm sure i could find it if i really really look for it but this thing is going along we're already at 10 percent i haven't even made it through a whole headland when i say 10 percent, this is a million liter capacity so 10 percent would be a hundred thousand so yeah this is ooh, this is gonna be a whole lot whole whole lot at least i think it is 
Well, first headland in the books right there. Man, that's a lot. 425,000 liters. Quite a bit there. And we're going to go ahead and go around again and probably again. I'm going to probably do three headlands on this just to give me plenty of room to turn around without having to back up or anything like that. I think three headlands would be good. Now, I remember using this header or this harvester at some other times on this map on the fields like this. And I was kind of needing that three headlands. The two headlands would work, but every now and then I would kind of miss a little bit whenever I turn around and then I'd have to back up and grab it so basically I just want to make sure I don't miss any and I have plenty of room to turn around so three headlands is what I'm gonna do now obviously I can't do three headlands on one full tank that's what it's looking like it's looking like I could probably do two and a half maybe so once I get back around on my next headland here I'm gonna go ahead and bring my trailer over here I can't remember what I was using I was using some sort of trailer oh no did I have a semi too I can't remember what I had it has been a minute since I played on there <laughs> so yeah let me uh figure out what kind of trailer i got but i'll figure that out once i finish up this headland here well here we go second headland all done Eight hundred and twenty-three thousand five hundred fifty-four liters i thought it'd be like 850 i guess not now looking at it this does look like quite a large headland i could probably do my turnarounds up downs with it but i just ain't gonna take a chance with it because i know it didn't work out in the past hey, this is i don't know this vehicle does not have the best turning radius so that's probably why but one thing we need to do right now is go ahead and get the trailer over here let's see where that's at hey right here looks like i got this semi here in this trailer like did i lease this or no way i bought that let me check that real quick i think maybe i just leased it oh wrong page let's go over here leased okay yeah truck trailers leased the mark thor t440 multi-fruit pack is leased also makes sense so we're gonna head on over there now get that unloaded it's not full but i don't want it to be full like halfway through another headland or just in the middle of the field somewhere don't want that to happen apparently driving 60 70 miles an hour through uh, the town center area little downtown area is perfectly fine in this town that's amazing oh my gosh no don't stop in front of me gosh man these people are horrible drivers as I'm crossing on this double yellow right now. Oh, well. Oh, hey, I'm doing 90 miles an hour almost. Yep, there it goes, 90. Well, there we go. I'm going to go ahead and top off this trailer. Go get it over there wherever it needs to go and get it sold. I believe it's the same place as last time. Looks a lot like it. And now I'm done with three headlands. Quite a bit of headlands. Now I'm ready to do some up-downs in this direction right here. What is that? Probably a 240 degrees, maybe? Maybe a 230? I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go, but we're not going to do that quite yet. Let me go ahead and turn that off. Save a little hours on it. Don't know if it will actually affect the hours or not, but hey, there we go. Hey, look, there's a shovel back there. Nah, it's not a shovel. I called it a shovel on one of my series. I thought it was a shovel. <laughs> So while driving, I'm taking a quick look at this details here. It says to go uh, one point, almost nine million liters. So looks like two trailers full is what we're gonna get over there. Well, 1.9 million liters is what we're gonna need to sell off to complete this. So right, that's good to have a general idea of what I need to put in there. I should have paid attention better last time because I was not looking at that last time and sold a little extra. And I probably will sell a little extra here just kind of on accident. I mean, this is a lot of potatoes and that's three headlands right there with one full trailer. So just kind of picturing to myself how much extra I'm going to have. And it's looking like I'm going to have quite a bit extra. But for right now, let's go ahead and get this dumped off here. There we go. Looks like contract on field 22 is 30 for six fleet. Let's see here. That number right there to go is going down. That is great. Profit from harvest look like, ooh, should make a pretty good profit from the harvest. That's what it looks like. I don't know. The thing is, I'm not going to sell it right now. Okay, I'm going to see if I can just drive right through this. Yes, I can. Okay, no collisions on that building there. Thank you. Or either no collisions on this trailer. One of the two. Thank you for that. Now, I realized I went in like the totally wrong worst spot on this field. Now, there are two pull-ins, one right here and one over there. And this is probably where I should have started with on the harvester, but I didn't. I started all the way down there where that bump is, which is fine, I guess. We'll go ahead and jump on over to this harvester, and I guess this is where I start my update. That looks like a great angle. Maybe, maybe not. I'll see. Now, there is also that little... Oh, gosh, no, 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 no. What the heck happened here? I guess I need to turn it on. Why did it not destroy the crops? I have crop destruction on, I thought. Right here, crop destruction on. Oh, huh. I guess it just doesn't affect the fields here, I guess. Uh, well, the fields I'm working on for, for other farmers. Okay, that's fine with me. Didn't lose anything there. <laughs> I was really worried I lost something. Now, maybe these tires are registered as narrow tires, maybe, because it does say narrow tires only. I mean, these tires definitely don't look narrow, but I don't know. This is modded pretty good. There we go. Definitely got enough to finish off the contract here, and I'm going to go ahead and empty this out into that trailer. I'm going to bring the trailer over here. We'll take a quick look at that. To go, 899,500 liters. Now we got 900. 
105,000 liters, so a little bit extra. But I'll go ahead and drive this truck and trailer over there. And you know what? Just cut right through all this. Well, I'm not going to cut through the crop. I'm still a little concerned why that did not destroy the crops. Like I mentioned, maybe those tires identify as narrow tires. Hey, it's 2023. Well, no, it's 2024 now. They can identify as however they want, I guess. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Somebody needs to learn how to drive. Now, we will get a little bit of extra money there. Did we not get any extra money there? What happened? So it says to go zero. I don't know. Did I get extra harvest income there? I don't think I did. I wasn't really paying attention. Huh. Well, that's uh, kind of a bummer. I don't know what happened there. Maybe it just got wasted. Oh, well, I'm going to steal a lot of potatoes from this guy. So I guess I can afford to give him a little bit extra. Well, hey, there we go. Finally got contract on field 22 finished. Worked. Build 92.5%. Coming up on the last patch right there, got it all done. 834,038 liters are extra. So what that means with extra is, hey, I'm still in 834,038 liters of potatoes from this farmer. I guess you could consider still in, I guess. Don't know. But hey, got my semi parked over here in this nice field of sunflowers. Why not? I thought it looked pretty nice there. We'll go ahead and get all this unloaded into the semi trailer, finish out this contract, actually get paid some pretty good money. Now, this stuff right here is not going to be sold off. This is going to be stored, and then I will sell it off at best sell time. But with me completing this contract right here, oh, that's quite a bit of money, I think. Let's go ahead and collect it right here. What did I say? $271,714. So we're up to $401,000. Wow. Did not think I'd ever make it up that high. Now, with us being at that balance, I might be able to purchase these leased items maybe you know i'll go ahead and look at that real quick before i forget because i know i'll forget before i record the next episode <laughs> so this right here to purchase it will cost me i don't know i don't see it anywhere down here unless i'm just missing it Two hundred seventy-nine thousand. let's buy it the header we'll go ahead and purchase that for fifty-seven thousand. let's buy it now this semi truck and trailer i cannot buy oh man i totally did that wrong i should have bought the semi truck and trailer because i'm gonna need this to sell this product off <laughs> Oh gosh, I totally messed that up. Hey, right, let's go ahead and get this back over to my silo real quick. Get it dumped in there, and that's actually going to be it for this episode. Got quite a bit done there. Oh, huge, huge harvest done there. And I just made a mistake buying the harvester instead of this truck and trailer. Don't know what I'm going to do there, whether I keep this leased out or just lease it again. But hey, I really want to thank y'all so much for stopping in and watching. Really do appreciate it. If y'all haven't already, please make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. And if y'all got any tips, tricks, or suggestions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. They're always welcome and very much appreciate it and until next time y'all take care <laughs>